Hello, Mario Newlands with Search Engine Journal. Here in San Francisco at Airbnb with Dennis, well-known SEO personality, runs SEO at Airbnb. Yeah. Before that, you ran uh, SEO at eBay. Yes, for nine and a half years, I was at eBay. So, tell the audience what was tonight about. So it was more like a meetup of SEOs in in and around uh, San Francisco, where Jonas Stein from uh, It's the ROI gave a uh, forward-looking vision on what SEO is going to be about in 2014. Get together with like-minded people and talk about SEO in general and what do we need to focus on. Now, one of the hot topics, hot questions for tonight was do Google data collection. And what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm. I, I, I was telling the audience I have on purpose an iPhone because uh, Android is uh, like 70% of search or no uh, smartphone market share right now. Right. And they're collecting a lot of data about people. So where you are, what you're doing, where you check in, um, they should be able to uh, connect the dots with your search behavior and build your profile really. So. Um, that's a lot of data that one company is collecting at that point. How do you think this affects search rankings? So right now, uh, personalized search is definitely uh, optimized on your personal profile. Uh, if you're not logged in, you might have a Google cookie that might uh, uh, target you with the uh, uh, queries that you previously have searched for and in the future uh, or it's already happening IP targeting if you're uh, at a certain IP range where you where you're logged in usually every day you're getting personalized search results based on that IP t uh, range now if you're looking at where they're going with uh, Google now and Waze, it's getting much and much more personalized. And that's where Google Plus is coming in. It's not really um, yet helping Google search rankings if you're popular in Google Plus, but who knows in the future, it could be a deal maker. And I was having a great conversation with someone at SMX about how it, what used to be the Internet of Strings, which was all about search query terms, and it's really become the Internet of Things because Google now understands the correlation between different things. How do you see data collection affecting uh, their, what they're producing? I mean, you, one of your comments in this event was that uh, they're going to have Google Cars, and Google Cars are going to be directed to point you to gas on a uh, on a paper paper gas uh, basis because paper they know, pump. paper pump because they know uh, where where things are. How do you think that's going to affect businesses across America? Uh, it, it's a land grab on offline um, uh, advertising uh, lead generation. So just imagine where a gas pump is now spending their uh, marketing budget or advertising uh, money. Um, they don't really know what the effects are going to be, but what if they can lead self-driving cars from Google through Waze and like, oh, you're driving back from work and oh, you need gas. Let Can I guide you to the nearest gas station that has the best deal for you? And oh, that also automatically has the biggest payout f to Google as well for the lead that they were bringing. And oh, you need milk as well? Well, I know the right supermarket to get the milk. So you, you can see where that is going. It's all about the direct response model, bring it, it from the, it's the internet of things that taking, taking the lead in this, uh, bringing your uh, offline experience using technology to bring it online and lead generation to bring more traffic, food traffic into retail stores. That's where I see it going. Even potentially into the accommodation space. You need somewhere to stay, we know it's where you can stay. Possibly. Uh, we know a good sites about that. Like Airbnb, you always have a place to stay. Well, a lot of people here coming from outside of San Francisco, they actually booked on Airbnb and we have instant book. So you can, if you don't have a place to stay right now, you can have like, boom, on our app, instant book. And do you see Google pulling in that kind of data and starting to serve that in results? Are you, are you just going to see that trend happening? So Google already have like the app 
uh, indexation with yeah. deep linking within search results. So how does it work? You do a search on Chrome you know, on your Android, you see a search result and if the site has enabled deep linking within the app and you have the app installed, you see actually see an extra uh, added button and say, okay, I would like to see this in the app and boom, the app fires up. And are you, are you, how are you strategically taking advantage of that at Airbnb? So we're talking about to, to enable that as well. What do you see as the pros and cons of that? Uh, we would like to see more people download our apps. Absolutely. Obviously, because then you really own the full user experience and you're not, um, you, you're not getting disintermediated by any kind of other players out there. Um, we can also do a lot more targeted um, matching between host and guest if you are in a certain city where uh, you might not have uh, accommodation. We can actually match you with the right host at that point if you have the app installed and activated. So I can see a big future in that. Uh, our apps are not that personalized yet, but who knows what comes. That's very interesting. In order for Google to, you could extrapolate that, in order for Google to be able to do that accurate matching, it's going to need to require more data from you. Yes. And, and have a reason for asking for it. Uh, definitely, uh, but uh, there, um, if you have the Android uh, you're giving it anyway. OS, you're giving it anyway. So um, a lot of uh, businesses might think that uh, it, it is a good way to get more users. For the short term, yes. For the long term, be aware where Google is going. If you're in the aggregator business and you're making your money right now by getting people to do something on your side but it's not adding a lot of value, then you're in a lot of trouble in the long term. So that's where, from the Airbnb side, we're very much looking at how can we expand the user experience in the accommodation space. So we're not seeing ourselves as a pure matching platform as you need a place to stay in San Francisco, so here are all the people that have opened up their homes. No, it's more like, hey, how can we make it a good experience for you um, and have it an awesome trip and help the, the host as well. So yesterday we launched our cleaning service, which is an extra added service to uh, our platform. Fantastic. If you want to find out more information and they follow you on Twitter, how do they do that? So I'm uh, on Twitter, the next corner, um, and you can find everything uh, on that Twitter feed. Uh, usually I tweet a lot. Uh, you can find the pictures as well from this uh, event. And if you would like to be um, um, coming to one of these events in the future, um, feel free to uh, hit me up on Twitter. I'm Murray Newlands with Search Engine Journal. I'll see you next time. Yeah.